Welcome to the Aviation Insurance Podcast, the podcast that helps aircraft owners and aviation businesses learn and understand the complex world of aviation insurance and risk management. From the basic principles of aviation insurance to risk management techniques and updates on the aviation insurance market, the Aviation Insurance Podcast is your guide to traverse the world of aviation insurance. Now, here's your host, Tim Bonnell. Well, welcome to the Aviation Insurance Podcast, where we talk about the fundamentals of aviation insurance. And we've talked about a variety of topics, and we've even talked about training the the uh, the huge importance for safety management systems and risk management processes and and training and and all those things. And one thing that uh, is not talked about a lot in aviation insurance is human factors training, right? We're talking about aircraft training, simulator based, you know, in house. We even talk about you know some pilot risk management tools when they're flying, but we often don't um, go out and train and consider human factors. Uh, when we are uh, considering the various training we can do to make our aircraft operations or our aviation business operations safety, improving our loss record, and uh, ultimately then leading to the best potential insurance rates available in the market. So I just wanted to give a very quick high-level overview of uh, human factors training and just uh, kind of make a pitch for it. Uh, you know, it's documented uh, that a high percentage of aircraft losses, or really any losses are due to a pilot error or human related errors. Uh, some will say 70%, some will say higher. And so various organizations like the FAA, like Boeing have gone out and made human factor uh, awareness and training and research a very a big part of trying to improve safety uh, going forward. And so what what is human factors? Um, Boeing says that an aviation human factors is dedicated to providing uh, better uh, to better understanding how humans can most safely and efficiently be integrated with the technology. That understanding is then translated into design, training policies, or procedures to help humans perform better. So Boeing has a whole team dedicated to that, and that's kind of the goal uh, to understand how humans can most safely and efficiently be integrated with the technology. Uh, That understanding is then translated to better design, training policies, and procedures to help uh, humans perform better. So how do we do things? How do we engineer and design uh, the cockpit or the flight deck? How do we uh, help with uh, appropriate automation workflows? How do we um, work with the communication and interaction with the crew, uh, the communication with maintenance and with risk management, with uh, the various um, uh, flight entities involved with the aviation oper- operations. How do we design the best maintenance program and support? How do we best uh, train and integrate the maintenance into our human factors training and risk management and communication process, and so on and so forth? Uh, the you know the FAA will um, kind of outline these key areas that are researched when it comes to human factors. That's the emotional state of the pilot and people involved. So it's not just pilots, it's, it's all crew, ground crew, maintenance, the physical state, the environmental conditions. Uh, we look a lot about the changes that have happened in the last several decades with the cockpit environment, uh, with the communication uh, that has come through the cockpit voice recorders and all the technology that has helped us improve the safety of aviation as a whole. Uh, the human machine interface with all the changing technology, how does that interact? Is the, is the technology helping or hurting the ability to safely operate the aircraft? The human limitations, what can people really do or be expected to do safely and effectively? What are those capabilities they have? What are the mental states of the people involved? And so all of this research and all of this uh, innovation has led to organizations that train human factors with human factors being such a large part of or large factor in most losses. Why aren't we doing more human factors training? So there are organizations, uh, I'm not going to promote any specific one today, but you can certainly uh, spend time uh, looking on an internet search engine, looking at industry associations like 
uh, the National Business Aviation Association and others, uh, where you can find providers uh, who help train the human factors involved in operating aircraft, whether that's piloting, maintaining, and all the other various aspects of flight planning and flight execution. So in-aircraft training does a lot of great things. It's, it's proven to be effective uh, with uh, training the pilots to fly and operate the aircraft, training the mechanics uh, to provide the highest level on, and technical capabilities and maintaining the aircraft and uh, good things are taught, but I just wanted to promote and, and bring a highlight to this additional aspect of training that certainly is being done. There are plenty of great operations conducting human factors training, but it's something that is not a great awareness of, and there's not enough uh, being done because it's a real opportunity in, in, to improve the safety of all aviation operations. And it's typically the smaller operations or the individual uh, operations that are definitely not doing this. Not always. There's exceptions to every rule. It's right now most employed in the larger organization. So I'd love to see this human factors training be more widespread uh, to see, you know, there are pilots who certainly uh, attend various uh, conferences, aircraft owner groups, uh, safety stand downs where some of these things are discussed. I continue. I just um, want to advocate for more of that and to promote how a beneficial human factors training can be to pilots, aircraft and owners, aviation businesses and everyone uh, who is involved in the uh, safe operation of flight. So that's it for this episode. Join us again next time as we continue navigating the waypoints in aviation insurance. Until then, enjoy clear skies and unlimited visibility. Thanks for listening to the Aviation Insurance Podcast. If you found this episode of value, please share it with someone who would benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe in your podcast player so you don't miss any new episodes and to help our show have more impact. This episode is brought to you by Eris Insurance Solutions, your flight plan for navigating the turbulence of aviation insurance. For more information, visit erisinsurance.com. That is www.aerisinsurance.com. Disclaimer, these episodes are for educational purposes only, and due to the changing regulatory and legal nature of the business, some information may change over time. Having a well-educated and experienced aviation insurance broker on your team is an absolute requirement to success in business and for managing your aircraft and aviation business risks.